day five of the 12 dates of Christmas and today I am featured with no makeup on a site. You won't see that much <laughs> but um, that is because today is um, a festive makeup look and to show you all the products I'm loving at the moment and yeah let's just jump right into it. I don't understand how people can do their makeup with their hair out like oh, gets in the way way too much. To start off with, I'm gonna start with a primer. I'm gonna be using the Stila One Step Primer. So basically, it's a skin tone correct correcting and brightening serum. And as you can see, I get like really quite red. Like I have quite a red, like quite red skin. Like it's green because green is on the opposite side of the um, color locker red, meaning it um, will correct that. So I'm grabbing my Beauty Blender. This isn't like the Beauty Blender blend, it's just like a cheap one from, I think it's from Target. This is the Australia Stay Put Long Wear Foundation. This is like my favorite foundation at the moment. It has SPF 15 in it and it claims that it wears up to 16 hours, which it really actually does stay put like the name suggests. I just like dot that one. Oh, and this is in the color Ivory. I'm pale. I'll grab a buffing brush. So this is my nude buffing brush. And I don't necessarily use this to like buff it into my skin. I just use it to like evenly spread it around. It's probably spread around pretty good now. And I just get my beauty blender and bounce it even further so it's all blended make sure I blend it down my neck so there's no makeup lines okay and now I go in with concealer and this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the color Fair 06. I just pop that under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and then any other areas I just feel like need a little bit more coverage. that's pretty good so now what I do is I set my foundation with a powder and I just grab a big fluffy brush like this one this is my Esme skin minerals mineral powder foundation and this is in skin type 1 got like a little mesh thing there and you like press into the mesh and the powder comes out so it's really cool actually I'm gonna pop that all over my face so once you've done that I grab my strawberry powder which I talked about in my um, December Bella Box unboxing. Um, I was talking about the comparison between strawberry powder and banana powder. So strawberry powder is just like people with pink undertones instead of yellow. Um, so I'm using my strawberry powder by Astralis. So cute. And I grab that on a little brush like this. And I literally dab that in my strawberry powder and just do it on the points, the highlighting points, so like where you want to highlight and brighten up. So under the eyes, which is pretty much the center of your face. So you want to high, like highlight the center. I hate foundation on my hands and I hate foundation on my lips. So I'm just gonna get a makeup wipe to fix that up. These are the makeup wipes from my December Bella box. Just 
bite my hands literally. So I hate it. It's the worst feeling. I always wash my hands after I do my makeup. And then I go like this to my lips. You can get all the foundation off them. Because you just look dead when your lips are covered, I reckon. <laughs> and now I'm going to do my bronzer blush highlighter. So I've got my unicorn, I mean, my unicorn bronzer, unicorn chocolate bronzer, which is by Pony Cosmetics. It looks like this. It's an ombre bronzer, so it goes from light to dark. I'm just going to use pretty much like the center of it. So medium, I guess. So I, this is how I do it. I draw my little lines on first. If you're wondering. Because this is a glam look, we can also go like a little bit heavier on like the bronzer and the blush and everything. Dust it on your forehead. And then go on the sides of your nose. And then I just dust off the excess on my brush and blend this out. grab my powder brush and kind of go like this and then we've got like a more natural bronze look then I'm gonna grab my unicorn candy which is also by Pony Cosmetics it is an ombre blush from peach to pink or pink to peach however way you want to look at it I'm gonna I always use from the center of this one too because I can never really decide what kind of um, color I like and I really like the color of the like the mix. So on the high like the apples on your cheeks. Bronzing and blush and highlight just gives so much dimension to your face. Like otherwise you just look kind of like the all the one color. Because I'm just obsessed with blush. Perfect. Now I was going to use my unicorn champagne from Pony Cosmetics, which is um, the highlighter that I pretty much use on an everyday basis. But because we're doing like a more glam out there look, I have this palette from Colourpop, which is new called um, the Dream Sequence Palette. And it literally is a palette of Super Shock highlighters from Colourpop. And I think I'm gonna use this real like icy color that's so pretty. That's called Counting Sheep. I'm gonna grab my um, little highlighter brush, this little fan brush. This is from uh, ColourPop as well. This was in the My Little Pony collection and that's why it's pink. <laughs> Just hope this isn't like chunky glittery highlighter. It's looking like it on my brush. Mmm. Damn it, it is. Okay, I'm just gonna do a light dusting of that. And then I'm gonna go back to my um, Unicorn Champagne palette. And the Unicorn Champagne by Pony, Pony Cosmetics is just really finely milled. It just looks so natural on the skin. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I love a popping highlighter. Seriously, the Pony Cosmetics stuff are amazing. So you can get them at um, ponycosmetics.com or I actually found them 
at Hair House Warehouse the other day. So if you would like to try them all out, head there. Seriously, amazing. Amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And my favorite thing for my eyebrows lately is I've been using um, the Kimco Brows. So it's like a brow cream. Um, Kim, Kimco Beauty is a brand by a local girl um, in Ballarat um, who I know. And yeah, she's created like her own makeup brand. So she's got brow cream, she's got liquid, liquid eye, liquid with like eyeshadows. Um, she's got some um, like three eyeshadow palettes, some highlighters and uh, like a whole range of lashes. I've got quite a few of their products and like really, really quite like them. So I'm gonna be using the brow cream today. The My Little Pony collection from Colourpop. So it's just a angled brush like this. And my color that I wear in my brows is Mocha. So it's just kind of like, um, what's the Anastasia one called? I don't remember what it's called. Is it called Dip Brow? I don't know, but you've probably seen these kind of like pots. Like pomades. Mac, I know Mac have one, like eyebrow pomade. Anyway, this is my favorite one. I'll leave her Instagram and link to her store on, um, in the description and she just got after her too, so even better. So I'm just filling in my brow. I just kind of outline them and then um, shade in wherever there's any sparseness, sparse areas. I'll just grab a little spoolie, like an eyebrow, sp eyelash, brow spoolie. Just brush them through. Up until now, aside from just a little bit of more of a toned down highlighter, all I would do like for my everyday makeup look is put some mascara on. Like this is what I wear like every day. Um, so I don't really wear eyeshadow every day, but now we're gonna jump into eyeshadow. I think what I wanna do is a like burgundy red crease with a gold eye and a green, um, like a minty green waterline. Like, yeah, eyeliner. So we'll go with that. So what I need now is a blending brush this one and I'm going to get the color from the Urban Decay Cherry palette I'm gonna get the color feels on my brush I'm gonna whack that in the crease So like this crease transition shade won't be the, the dark, like we'll probably go darker in the end with this, but it's just, it's all, you know, it's art and experimenting. And that's what makeup is. And that's why I love it is, it's really just a big experiment. Like you never really know how things are gonna turn out. So it's really, um, this colour's kind of quite, got like a pinky tone to it, I guess. So what I really want to do is, um, deepen it up with like a good burgundy or something. And I'm pretty sure there's one in the Jaclyn Hill palette. A nice, like, burgundy colour. Let's have a look at that Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, so it's 
So the decision is, do I go this color, this color, or this color? I feel like that's kind of like um, red brick from MAC. But then this one's more like a deep burgundy. Maybe we'll try the like one that looks like red brick, which is called Hunts in Jaclyn Hill palette, if you have that palette. Um, I'm going to put this in my crease too, but focusing like on the outer bit, just to see how I like it. It looks strongly pigmented, so I'm kind of scared. It's definitely a more orangey red, but I'm like liking it. So. So then, to tie it all in together, I'm going to go back into that colour from the cherry palette. What was it called again? Feels. I'm going to clean my brush from the um, red one, just so I don't get any where I don't want it. I'm going to grab feels and just blend them, those two colours together. What gold am I going to use? Mm. So usually I, for glitters and shimmers, I will use my finger just because you get way more colour payoff and way more pigment with that. So I'm going to be pressing this on my lid like so. Now that colour was, let me just figure that out, for ganache, mousse ganache. And we're just going to go back in with that like one that looks like red brick, which is called Hunts. Back in the corner, just to blend gold in with the reds. that off and grab the feels one more time just to blend it all out finally so and I'm also going to blend this up now kind of blending it higher so putting that now I'm putting this feels color kind of above the hunt hunts um you like blowing it out a bit more making the red a bit more smoky and just like further blending. Then I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush and blend any harsh edges. Cool. So the eyeshadow is complete. I'll show you the look like all together at the end. So now I'm going to try this liner. Question is how green do I want to go now? So I've got three different greens. I'm going to swatch them. Okay. So there's kind of like a minty blue. I don't think that's green enough. 
There's the one in the center, which is a kind of a bright green and then a dark green. I feel like the dark green. This could look crap. I could just be ruining this whole look. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the waterline now. Probably going to make my eyes. It kind of looks blue, so I'm going to go in with that brighter Colourpop green. So this is Colourpop. Sorry, I didn't tell you the names. This is Colourpop in Teaspoon, and the one I just used was a crown eyeliner in the colour dark green. This green eyeliner in there, I'll show you again. At the end, you might not be real able to notice, but when people see me, they'll see like a pop of green in my eyes. Top. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mascara on my lashes. So this is the Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara. It has a um, lengthening brush in the top and a volume brush underneath. So I'm just going to pop the lengthening mascara on and then I'm going to pop false lashes on. We'll see. We'll see if I can get them on. Now I'm going to try and put these, these lashes on. These are Kimco lashes and these are in the the style Tessa. Hard to tell um, on the camera what they look like, but they're just kind of really quite natural ones. If I go really quite intense, I just look like an idiot because it just looks way too harsh on my eyes. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these on off camera because I'm not very good at it. So I've got my lashes on now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna use the color, where'd I put it? Shook, I'm Shook. Jeffree Star, um, and it's collabor their collaboration with Manny. This is the Savvy Long Wearing Lip Liner in the shade Current. Alright, I've lined them and now I'm going to play the Jeffree Star I'm Shook Lip Liquid Lipstick. I love the Jeffree Star lipsticks, they're like the only lips liquid lipsticks that like don't dry my lips out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring some of that eyeshadow colour down along like the bottom of my eyes so I'm just gonna grab an angled brush that's not been used in my eyebrow wow I just look so like done up and I'm just not sure how I feel about it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that feels pop that just kind of underneath the green Basically, what I'm trying to do now is just balance out the eyes so it doesn't look so like heavy on top. Oh, where's the Jaclyn Hill palette? <laughs> Make me eyes on it. Now I'm going to get that rust colour. Rust colour. Pop that underneath. Now what I'm going to do is grab from this neutralized palette, I'm going to grab like a dark red um, 
this one, which is called Praline, just to do the outer corners of the lower lash line. So this is the finished look of my makeup. Um, I've just taken my hair out just because I like the contrast of the red with my dark hair. So there's our eyes. See the green, um, pop of green in the uh, waterline. And yeah, that's my festive look. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button um, and please subscribe as it would really support my channel. I hope you liked this makeup tutorial. I'm not used to wearing this much makeup, but I'm really actually quite happy with the way it turned out considering I had no plan on what I was gonna do before I sat down to film this video. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.